<laughs> There's nothing short of a mass uprising going on in the GOP. Rhino establishment leaders are getting purged as more and more pundits are indeed seeing the potential rise of a patriot party. In this video, we're going to take a look at the latest examples of the MAGA grassroots getting rid once and for all of their neocon leadership. How Republicans in D.C. are panicking that an impeachment trial in the Senate could destroy their party and why more and more pundits are seeing the very real possibility of a Patriot Party permanently replacing the feckless and cowardly GOP. You are not going to want to miss this. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you. Wonderful to be with you, as always. We're here to give you conservative hope in the midst of these turbulent times by helping you to think better so you can feel better. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. We would love to have you as a regular part of this channel as each and every day we analyze what are often distressing current events, but always in light of very hopeful conservative trends so we can all live in the present in light of even better things to come. But first, with our rapid advances in science over the years, there are much more powerful and effective ways to boost your immune system than just taking mega doses of vitamin C. In fact, our sponsors over at Biotrust have combined four of the world's best immune supporting powerhouses, along with that mega dose of vitamin C, in their number one immune support product, Ageless Body. Simply put, Ageless Body provides you five of the most powerful immune support ingredients available, including their number one immunity support recommendation, and that's turmeric, that has 46 times better absorption than most other forms. And best of all, if you click on that link below today, you can now get Ageless Body at their lowest price ever at 51% off with free U.S. shipping to boot. So don't wait. Click on that link or go to agewithstevetrolley.com today. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. We are seeing, I'm very happy to report that we are seeing what appears to be nothing less than a mass uprising among the GOP grassroots, the deplorables, the MAGA crowd against the rhino GOP establishment. Already, both the Republican leader in the Senate, Mitch McConnell, and the third highest ranking Republican in the House, Liz Cheney, have been formally reprimanded by their respective constituents for their vehement and vitriolic attacks against President Trump. McConnell and Cheney are not just playing along with this ridiculous kabuki theater fabrication that is this latest sham impeachment. They are actually playing starring roles in this fiasco. There is, as we speak, virtually no difference between what comes out of Mitch McConnell's stuttering mouth and what nonsense comes out of Nancy Pelosi's stuttering mouth. And so as a result of their penchant for embracing and celebrating the permanent political class, the constituents of both McConnell and Cheney are fighting back. In Kentucky, the state Mitch McConnell was from, Republican leaders in Nelson County voted unanimously to formally censure McConnell after his temper tantrum on the Senate floor blaming Trump for the Capitol Hill riot. And the Republican Party of Central, uh, the Central Committee in Carbon County, Wyoming, unanimously voted to censure Liz Cheney for leading nine other Republican congressmen to vote to impeach President Trump. The committee also demanded her presence before them to explain herself. They've actually pointed out, they've complained. They've made numerous attempts at contacting Cheney, but she has no time for them. She's not receiving their calls. She's gone radio silent as far as her own Republican constituency in Wyoming is concerned. In fact, Cheney has since doubled down and she's openly praising Mike Pence for standing with the Constitution and she's defending her vote to remove President Trump from office. She promises she's going nowhere. So it's little wonder why GOP officials in Wyoming officially and unanimously censured her, issuing a formal condemnation and it's not ending there. 115 House Republicans are calling for Cheney's removal from the chair of the House GOP conference. It's obvious that she should not be occupying the chair since she so obviously removed herself from the values and interests and concerns of Republican voters. She simply does not represent rank and file Republicans, period. We might as well have Nancy Pelosi as our GOP chair. So what's the difference at this point? And not only that, but precisely as we predicted, Liz Cheney is already getting primaried. State Senator Anthony Bouchard has announced his campaign to unseat Cheney, citing Cheney's longtime Never Trumper stance, along with her impeachment vote, both demonstrating just how absolutely out of touch she is with the voters of Wyoming. If you don't know, 
The good citizens of Wyoming voted for President Trump over sleepy, sloppy Joe by 45 points. Trump got 70% of the vote in Wyoming. So we can be pretty sure that Cheney is toast. She'll be one of the highest ranking members of the Republican political class, the swamp establishment, to fall. Moreover, there are increasing calls for Mitch McConnell to step down since he so obviously no longer represents the new MAGA base nationalist populist Republican Party. And the warnings are starting to flood in. The warnings against the establishment bougie Republican leadership that their days are numbered. The new nationalist populist Trumpian Republican grassroots are simply no longer going to tolerate them. GOP senators are warning McConnell of a massive backlash if he openly chooses to support impeaching President Trump. In fact, McConnell's being told directly that if he himself votes to impeach Trump, it will be absolutely impossible for him to stay in his position as Senate leader. Republicans like Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin are openly saying that there is absolutely no way they could continue to support McConnell if he voted to convict President Trump. And Senator Lindsey Graham is saying the same thing. Actually, Graham thinks it's even more grave than that. Graham is admitting that if you try to erase Trump from the Republican Party, you yourself will be erased. And that's because he's admitting Trump is not simply a part of the GOP that you can get rid of. Right now, as we speak, Trump is the GOP. This is the absurdity of what these Capitol Hill Republicans are doing. Trump is the GOP, and he's not going anywhere. And Graham is admitting that his fellow Republicans in Washington, D.C. are scared to death that Trump might start a third party. And they're scared to death of that precisely because that'll be the end of the GOP. They know that 85, 90% of the Republican base, as well as state and local politicians, will defect from the GOP and join the new Patriot Party. It'll be nothing short of a political earthquake that will effectively destroy the Republican Party. And Graham is not alone in his assessment. Lou Dobbs last night on his show had Ohio Republican Jim Jordan. His guest Jordan is as he's a MAGA deplorable through and through. He's wonderful. We're working actually on getting him on our Thursday night live Q&As that we have every week for Insiders Club. If you're not a member, you definitely want to join by clicking on the link below. But Jordan was with Lou Dobbs the other night. And Dobbs just had it. He was so blunt. Dobbs warned the Republican Party that they are literally on the verge of losing their entire base. Why on earth would anyone be a Republican anymore, he asked. They're on verge of losing their entire base precisely because the GOP leadership is constantly insulting and spitting on the 74 million Trump voters who are getting ready to bail and leave the GOP permanently. Here's what Lou Dobbs said last night. It's absolutely brilliant. Quote, the fact of the matter is working men and women and their families right now have no representation in Washington, D.C. This president has made clear who has his priority, his attention, his interest. President Trump, as you say, stood up for the working men and women and their families. It is stunning to me that the Republican Party right now doesn't understand the threat that he poses. Because I think of those 74 million Americans, if they continue to be insulted by the leadership of both political parties, they're simply going to say, the hell with you, and the Patriot Party will be born, and will be born with extraordinary strength and power. And Dobbs is absolutely right, and we can prove it, which I'll do in just a moment. But first, I am so excited to announce that we are officially on Rumble I'm sure many of you are familiar with this brand new video alternative to YouTube, which has all of the best content creators, but none of the threats of left-wing censorship and cancel culture that we're exposed to with big tech. And so, as part of making sure that we never lose touch with each other, we put together just for you our new Rumble platform. So please make sure to click on that link below, head on over, and subscribe to my Rumble channel. Again, you'll get all my video content, but without any of the censorship. So let's together support this great new network by clicking on that link below and subscribing to my Rumble page today. And I look forward to seeing you over there. Now, the reason why Dobbs and others are absolutely right that a third party would effectively destroy the GOP is because third parties are actually rising up everywhere all over the world as we speak. 
What's going on here with all this third party talk is actually indicative of a larger political dynamic that we're seeing emerge throughout the entire world. And it's what British scholars Roger Eatwell and Matthew Goodwin have called a phenomenon known as de-alignment. We've talked about this before. It's a very important concept for us to grasp, de-alignment. What that involves is the breakdown of the traditional bonds that used to exist between traditional mainline political parties and their constituents. And this breakdown in the bonds that voters have had with traditional mainline parties is making it easier for new political parties to rise up and take the nation in, in a new direction. For example, in Britain in the 1960s, around 50% of the British population felt strongly aligned to one of the traditional parties, the Tories or Labour, one out of two people. By 2015, that dropped to just about 10%, that loyalty, about 13% to be exact. Party loyalties dropped from 50% to 13%, just a matter of a few decades. So clearly the opportunity is there for new parties to sweep in and offer voters a new direction. And that's precisely what we're seeing going on throughout Europe as we speak. In fact, in the past 17 years, the actual number of new nationalist populist parties that have been formed across the European continent, it's nearly doubled. It's grown from 33 to 63 and so in many respects, there's never been a better time to start a third party. And if the Republican leadership continues to insult their grassroots populist constituents, they are all but guaranteeing their own demise. Now, before you go, make sure to like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And you'll definitely want to check out my latest video. I just uploaded it. It's on the latest Fox News ratings crash as trust in the mainstream media has absolutely imploded. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure to click on the link, and I will see you over there. God bless.